couple years ago, when I bought my first OLED TV, coming from an old LCD TV, I was amazed. My thoughts were just, this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. And I thought that I would never have that feeling again. Flash forward to now, and I feel like I'm having that feeling about times five. That's how good the QD OLED is. I'm not even kidding, you guys. The S95B has completely destroyed all of my TVs. I have the QN90B, the LG C2, the A80J all right next to each other. And the S95B killed it. It just absolutely murdered it. And it wasn't close. There was no scenes that were close. And it's weird because, you know, the QN90B would pull ahead those OLEDs on the bright scenes all the time. And the OLEDs would pull ahead of the QN90B on those darker scenes and the challenging scenes. The S95B just kills it all. Just destroys it all. And when I say it does it in a matter that I've never seen before, I can't even just describe it to you guys. There is so much color. Color space, color volume, color gamut, color depth, in living color, color me bad, true colors. I mean, you just name it, it's there. Speechless is a great word to describe where I was after watching two or three hours of this TV, just nonstop, not recording at all, just dumbfounded, mesmerized, jaws on the floor. So if you guys end up buying this TV, which I feel like a lot of people will probably change their plans and end up buying this instead of the TV they originally planned to do. Well, if you end up doing that, please use my affiliate links. It will really help out the channel. I appreciate you guys so much if you do that. As a result of everything I just said about the TV, this is not going to be your traditional side-by-side. -side. It can't be. Because in those traditional side-by-sides, I call out times where the LG C2 is better than the S95B. That doesn't exist. In every scene that I watched, there was never once a win for the C2. Never in my time of doing this have I seen a clean sweep from a TV where every scene was it, it was dominant, it wasn't close. So instead, what you guys are going to get is me pointing out where the TV is vastly better than the C2. And I have a couple of examples to show you. All right, so let's continue on with my S95B first impressions, and then we'll get on to what I see in some of these examples. But until then, you can enjoy those examples in the background while I talk about the S95B and just how great it is. The first thing that sticks out about the S95B is how realistic it looks. There's just a realistic element to it. It looks very realistic on a lot of the content that you put on. That is the best way I can describe it. I don't know if it's the most accurate. Frankly, I don't care. It looks real to me. And this is legit stuff. Like this TV is crazy. Between Keep It Classy Tech and myself, we have not been able to fully capture this TV on camera to its full ability. The best way I could put the S95B experience so far is that I have been undersold this TV. And I'm willing to say you have been undersold this TV. There is not enough hype about this TV and I know there's a lot of hype, but there's just not enough. It deserves every praise that it gets and you can multiply that. Last year I told you that the Sony A90J was the best TV of the year. And I also specified that it's only 10% better than the A80J. And I also thought the A80J was just a little bit better than the LG C1 and the QN90A. It was very close. This year, I'm about to say something kind of crazy that I never thought I would ever say. The Samsung S95B QD OLED is 100% better than any WRGB OLED that you can buy and LCD TV on the market. That's it. I said it. And the reason why I say that is because I have the QN90B, the C2, and the A80J all right next to the S95B. 
and they all lose to the S95B 100% of the time. Yeah, you heard me right. 100% of the time. I don't usually make bold statements like that. I usually don't uh, just outright say something is better. You've seen my side-by-sides before. I never really give conclusions. But it'd be irresponsible for me to not give you a conclusion on this one because it's not close. And I want you guys to get the best TV possible if you're in the market for a TV. All right, so now that all that's said, let's get to some of my side-by-side examples that I handpicked so I can let you guys know how the S95B is doing what it's doing in the scene because like I said on camera, it's not going to fully show everything that's going on. So I did take notes on all these scenes and I specifically want to tell you about them because they are that special. This scene in particular is one that I was very excited for. Now, when you see this in person, I'm telling you it is something like I've never seen before. So the blue on the S95B, the illumination off of the blue is so bright, it is beaming off the screen. And this is what has me really excited about QD OLED. Not only do you get really good picture depth, but you get good brightness as well. And the brightness is on a whole different level than we've seen from OLED technology thus far. And so let me tell you, when you see the self-emissive pixels getting this bright, it is a thing to behold. And then take a look at the sky, at the colors, just how nice and vivid that purple is without oversaturating, without clipping colors. Oh, it is so good. And the color volume that the TV can get to is crazy as well. So like I was mentioning earlier, there there's color depth, there's color volume. It's it's everything that you would hope for from Quantum Dot OLED. So it's definitely living up to the hype. And this scene is a great example of what it is. And it looks really good on camera, but let me tell you in person, it looked even better. Here we're coming up on a scene that everybody loves. It's the fire breathing man from the Samsung demo. Look at the fire. That's all I have to say. It comes across pretty good on the camera. Um, in person, it's even better. And you can see that the WRGB OLED, it just cannot keep up. And that's unfortunate, but that's just how it is when you get new technology. All right, so let's look closer at the fire on this scene. So as you can see on the C2, it almost looks like it's just a whole different entire grade. But this is run through a splitter and they're both HDR. This is just what the TV is showing. And so when you're looking at the C2, you're seeing a lot of that fire, a lot of those flames become diluted. And what really was crazy to me is at the bottom where he's blowing the flame, that part was actually brighter and kind of more vibrant than the top. And I've never noticed that before in the scene in any TV. But it comes across very clearly and cleanly on the S95B. It is definitely on a different level in terms of fire. Like if you love fire effects, you're going to really love the S95B. All right, along those same lines, I'm going to show you a gaming example this time with fire involved. This is from Elden Ring. Now, I want you to pay attention closely to the way that the spells are illuminating here. And I'm going to cast multiple spells for you guys. Feel free to stop it at any point. I will pause the freeze frame here in a second. I feel like everything on the C2 feels a bit muted when it comes to the spells that I'm casting. And we're just not getting the same effect that we are on the S95B. All right, so now I want to talk about the capabilities when gaming. Now, this TV is definitely my favorite gaming TV that I've played yet. So that's not a surprise since it's also my favorite TV yet. Um, but it does feel like gaming takes it to another level. And that's kind of tied into why this is the best TV. But it is remarkable at how clean it looks and how sharp everything looks. But... I have sharpness at zero. From an angle, it actually looks better than it looks from a distance. And it's weird to say that, but 
that's how clean the panel is. It is really good. There's no tinting at all. To me, I don't see any vertical banding. For gaming, it's one of the cleanest panels I've seen in my entire life, which I think a lot of gamers care about because there's a lot of panning skies. You know, you are constantly scrolling in games. I also want to say the color, I've been touching on this, but it's on a whole nother level with games as well. It is definitely a thing of beauty. Now, again, the camera is not going to be able to capture everything, but you can sort of see on camera what's going on here. I'll say this then for the C2, you know my biggest complaint is SDR gaming. Well, that is not a thing to worry about with the S95B. The S95B's SDR gaming is crazy. It is very bright. It can get very bright if you want it to get very bright. I know a lot of people don't like it to get bright. That's fine. That's your you know, preference. Really, the C2 looks very dull on SDR gaming compared to the S95B. I will have more gaming examples and I will have more to show you guys in the future. Also, I will be doing a QN90B comparison as well. So let me know, you know, what you want me to try out in that because I know that's what a lot of people are going to be curious about on how bright it can get versus the QN90B. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Consider subscribing. I'll have more S95B coverage. I'm taking requests in the comments. Tell me what you want to see. You know what TVs I have. Uh, and yeah, stop by my live streams because I will be streaming a lot with an S95B because it's a fun TV and I just want to share it with you guys. And if you want to see more videos, click one of these videos right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day and I will see you in the next one.